The black voters helped propel President Biden to victory in the 2020 presidential election. And now, as the Democrats' new presumptive nominee, Vice President Harris, is hoping to recapture the support of this crucial voting bloc. And here to discuss is president of the African American Mayors Association and a surrogate for Vice President Harris, Montgomery, Alabama Mayor Stephen Reed. Thanks so much for being with us. Thank you for having me. And it's my understanding um, you and a coalition of over 100 current and former African American mayors are ready to make a formal endorsement in this uh, presidential race. So what's the endorsement? Absolutely. We're, we're glad to be a part of current and former black mayors uh, who are endorsing Vice President Harris, not only for the Democratic nomination, but obviously uh, to be our next president of the United States. And that's based on her record uh, as a public defender, as an attorney general, as a United States senator, and certainly as a vice president. And Mayor Reed, you are the first black mayor of Montgomery, Alabama, which in its history was the first capital of the Confederate States of America, also the birthplace of the civil rights movement. What has been your city's response to the first presumptive nomination of a black woman at the top of the party's ticket? It's been overwhelmingly positive. It's been like a jolt of adrenaline. Uh, I haven't seen anything like it, certainly in, in my time in politics. Uh, there's a lot of energy and enthusiasm behind uh, Vice President Harris, not only in Montgomery, but throughout the state of Alabama and beyond. And when I talk to other black mayors around the country, doesn't matter if they're in Pennsylvania, doesn't matter if they're in Arizona, uh, we're seeing that across this country people organizing Zoom calls, organizing GOTV efforts and volunteer lists. Uh, it has just been unwavering uh, of what we have seen from black voters, again, across this country. After this um, decision by President Biden, and certainly I think it has sustained itself over this first week, and I expect it to sustain itself over the next several months. Let's look at the numbers right now. A recent Wall Street Journal poll has the two candidates effectively tied. What issues do you think will be top of mind specifically for black voters when we get to election day? Well, I think public safety uh, will be top of mind, certainly economic opportunity uh, and access to affordable health care. Those are things that uh, many Americans want to see, and certainly uh, black voters are no different in that, in that regard. And those are things that we hear at the local level. Those are things that we see at the state and national level as well. And I think Vice President Harris's proximity to local government, understanding how cities work, uh, not being in opposition to cities as we find in so many of our state legislatures, uh, being one who wants to be partnered with cities, that's going to make a tremendous difference to really make sure that everyday Americans not only have the opportunity to stay ahead, but have the opportunity uh, to really make a difference in their economic future. That's very, very important, I think, to black voters as it is to voters overwhelmingly. And sticking with the numbers here, uh, there's a new ABC News Ipsos poll that has Vice President Harris's favorability rating up at 43 percent. That's eight percentage points higher from the previous week. So what can local Democratic leaders like yourself do to keep that momentum going? I think we have to talk about who she is. Uh, a lot of voters are just getting to know her. They're learning about her story. Uh, those of us who have been around her know how fun she is, know how personable uh, she can be. We know about her family. And as voters get a chance to know who she is as a person, it'll be a lot easier for us to talk about her as a candidate and certainly her policy positions. I think the first thing for us uh, at the local level is to talk about what she has done as, as vice president, what President Biden did for cities and for mayors over the last three and a half plus years. Uh, allowing direct access to his administration, making sure that many obstacles that mayors face to help our citizens were not caught in political bureaucracy or fights at the state level. And those are things that the vice president assisted with. So as we push those items out there about how the American Rescue Plan Act, how the bipartisan infrastructure law and the CHIPS Act, and so many things that this administration did to help local government, that I believe will help her position at the national level. Montgomery, Alabama Mayor Stephen Reed, thank you so much for your time here today. We enjoyed being with you.